Hello, this video will be on the structure and symbols of proteins. So, the structure of proteins. Proteins have 20 different amino acids that make them, but DNA just has four building blocks. Proteins are more complex than DNA, but they do not reach immense sizes. Proteins are components of polypeptide chains. A protein molecule may have more than one chain. A polypeptide chain consists of a large number of amino acids linked together, anything from like 50 to several thousands. 20 different amino acid structures are used for the assembly of polymers. So different amino acids can join together to make a different polymer. So you can have like lysine, cysteine, arginine, or then remember it always starts with methanine as well. So amino acids are the building blocks which evolutionary work to produce vast variety of different proteins needed for life of organisms. The same 20 amino acids are used for all forms of life. The different shape, sizes, chemical formulas, chemical properties, sorry, and polarity characteristics give evolution flexibility in trying out different protein structures with natural selection, deciding whether variants could be adopted via the genetic system. So basically, just to summarize what this means is that the 20 same amino acids are used in all different forms of life. So for example, um, between a human and a dog, but it just has like different like polypeptide structures and different chains of amino acids, which give it flexibility, hence giving it its properties. So the structure of a protein. So an, an alpha amino acid is written. So basically you can find the structure of a protein in a non-ionized form shown in this picture here. And the um, also you can find in the aqueous neutral solution. So in a Swiss ion where you can see the NH3 plus charge and the COO minus charge. Every amino acid except proline is every amino acid except proline has the same H two C H C O H. So basically, the alpha carbon and the Pacific R groups attached to the alpha carbon. Glycine, for example, it has no asymmetrical carbon atom. Amino acids are usually in the L configuration. There is also L and D um, mirror images, so they're called stereoisomers. But usually in nature, we just you know, we always find L, we rarely, rarely find the D isomer. Um, so if you were to look at the symbol of amino acids, um, there are two traditional methods which can be used. Well, one of them is a bit um, more modern. So the old system just involved three letters. So for example, if you wanted to know what glycine was, you just write GLY. And the new system, it's like you just, you know, use a single letter. But also, it's also important to know that amino acids can be classified based on their properties of the side chain. So they can be like hydrophobic, hydrophilic, phosphorylation group. There are many different classifications as well, and a lot of them actually do overlap. However, like hydrophobic and hydrophilic is like one of the main group groups, and also like positively charged and negatively charged is also a group. We'll go over that as well, um, either in this video or in the next one. So if we were looking at the amino acids in the one letter system versus the three letter system. So for example, in the three letter system, cysteine is CYS, C, CYS, yeah, sorry. And the one letter system, we just call it C, which it also, you know, this one letter system is really good because you can actually have like a long chain of amino acids, but just one letter system just condenses the chain instead of having like lots of different words, it just like, it just really, really narrows it out. It makes it very organized for scientists. So thank you. Please like and subscribe and share this video. Um, I would really, really appreciate if you subscribe. Also, I am new to YouTube as well, and I will be taking video requests on any topics which you may be confused on or might need any help.